guys, Adrian here with The Crafty Mom. Today I am bringing you a mommy tag. Now this can be for stay-at-home moms or working moms. And I'm kind of in both categories because I am a part-time worker. So in the morning to the afternoon, I work. And I work at my daughter's school. And I've done a video on what I do for a living. I'll put that there so if you guys are interested. So Stephanie from Mommy and Bao, I'll put her name here and her link below and everyone else. Um, she actually reached out to me to join her and a few other awesome YouTube mommies to do this collab. So I'm super excited because I've not done a tag like this before or a collab like this before. So I thought, yes, I'm in. It sounded really fun and I love to get to know other mothers. So this is going to be awesome. She has an awesome channel. Please be sure to go check her out and all the other ladies in this collab and tell them I sent you. Okay, so let's get started with the questions. Now I kind of put them together because like I said, I'm both. So I'm going to be answering the questions that apply to me and then I'll put those below. And then if you want do this tag um, you can do it too also I'll put those um, down below as well so here's the first question it says are you a stay-at-home mom or a work mom and like I said I told you both so in from like 8 30 to 1 30 I work and I only work a block away at my middle daughter's elementary school so it's part-time I'm off when they're off um, even during the summer, it's like the perfect job is such a blessing. So that's, and then like once I come home, I'm mom at home for the rest of the day. So like I said, I feel like I'm both. Okay, question number two. Why did you choose to stay home? For me, this question is, um, or answer, I should say, I wanted to find a part-time job so I could stay home um, more than being a full-time mom working eight hours. So I'm only out for four hours as opposed to eight so I still have the and that's the reason why I wanted to do a, a part-time job question number three how old are your children okay so my first daughter is 18 and I had her when I was 19 I got pregnant at 18 but I got married first and then I got pregnant um, my second daughter is 10 years old my third daughter is two years old so I have all girls Eight years apart exactly. I did not plan it that way. God definitely planned it that way. Okay, question number four. Are you a part of any mom or play groups? I am not at the moment. Um, I really like to be, but I kind of get my friends together and especially neighbors and we'll go do play dates. Um, but I'm part of a woman's Bible study that has a lot of moms in it. So I guess that's kind of a question. Um, question number five, do you have it all together every day? Mm, no. Even being a mom for 18 years, I'm still learning. I still feel like I'm a new mom and be having a two-year-old really makes me feel even more and just even more tired. So I do have a lot of help with her. Um, you know, my 18-year-old and my 10-year-old, they're awesome helpers. And, um, but no, I don't have it all together. I don't think any mom does. Whoever does, if you are out there, let me know. And if you have a YouTube channel, I will go and watch you because I want to have it all together. But you know what? It's okay to not have it all together. Motherhood is a learning process and we're going to be learning every single day. Something new always comes up. So, um, I'm glad I don't have it all together. And it also helps me to rely more on God. So, I'm kind of glad for that. Here goes the stay-at-home mom questions. Like I said, I'll only answer the ones that apply to me. The number one question is, do you have a daily routine or go with the flow? I do have routines when I am home. I try to, but then there's days that I just go with the flow. If I don't have anything planned, it's a go with the flow, you know, whatever kind of day. So I do have routines. Um, if you would like to see those types of routines, I do have videos. I'll put the playlist up here. Or if you'd like to see them written out, I can do a video on that too. Question number two, how long do you plan to stay home? As long as I can. I am trying to do other things to help where I can stay at home full time. But, you know, if it's not in the books, it's not in the books. I'm just going to have to um, be part time. Uh, question number three, do you keep up with the housework or share? We definitely share. Um, me and my daughter kind of 
take turns doing the dishes. My husband usually does most of the cleaning around the house and if we're off on the day that he cleans, we will help. Um, so, you know, we definitely share that they do most of it. Question number four, do you do anything on the side for extra money? Yes, I do. Um, I do a lot of like online selling. Um, so I use OfferUp, which is a local, it's kind of like a Craigslist. Um, and I'll even use Craigslist sometimes. Or um, right now I'm also using the app Macari and I can go into that, um, you know, in another video. It's been, um, I just started using Macari and it's been amazing. If you guys would like to try that out, um, I have uh, $2 credit. If you would like to join, it's free. Um, I'll put the link below and the code right here. So there's that question. I kind of do that on the side. I also um, sell clothes at consignment shops. So I do, you know, that's just extra money that I can do right now. Um, here's this question. It says, did you always know you wanted to be a stay-at-home mom? I'm um, not at first because I, I knew we needed the money, but then once I had um, my second daughter, I really wanted to stay home because when I was working, I was missing out a lot on my first daughter. So I, I just, in my heart, I always want to be home because I feel that's where my place is. But we have just, um, not complicated situation, but it's kind of reverse in most families. So I'm the one that has to go out and work. And again, I can uh, let you know that in another video I think I'm going to be sharing that later but yeah I've always wanted to stay at home but right now that's just not me season so this question is what does your partner do for work he um, stays home he does not work he actually can't work he is a disabled veteran and from a long time ago not from this previous war but he stays home and he does receive like call it VA assistance and also social security so if it, it's like he is working and then question number nine when do you shower morning or night always morning i very rarely do night um, but usually the morning that's what helps me wake up <laughs> number 10 do you put makeup on every day um pretty much for since april first i've been doing it only because i'm doing beta right now and um usually i will only do it um maybe four to five times a week and it's usually not that much. The most of the time that I do get ready is like on two, Thursdays and Sundays, so when I go to church. <laughs> okay, do you style your hair every day? Um, I don't really style it. I just put it up in a bun most of the time when I'm working, Monday through Friday. Um, but, you know, usually it's just like this. And this is hair since Sunday and it's Tuesday, so I just take around, brush, and do that. And that's my hairdo. Nothing fancy. Okay, question number 12. Do you work out and when? Yes, I do work out. I work out at least three to five times a week. So that's when I do it. And usually it's in the afternoon after work. I'm going to try to incorporate in the morning, but it's just been so hard. I, can't, I just can't. Okay, question number 13. What's your cleaning schedule like? Mm, I really don't have one. Um, I just clean the kitchen. Try to every night. Um, like I said, because I'm not home, so usually my husband does most of the cleaning and my daughter, so I usually just tidy up the kitchen every day. That's my cleaning schedule, and I try to spring clean like I'm in that mode right now. Um, question number 14, do you ever have alone time with your significant other? There are times that we do, like the other, I think it was Saturday, we went grocery shopping together, so that was fun. Um... But our alone time is usually at night. Our kids sleep in their bed. We don't go sleep. So, yeah, that's the only time we really get. And we need a date. Babe, if you're watching this, we need a date. Put it on the calendar. Okay. So, question number 14. I just said that. Question number 15. Do you ever have me time? My husband has been gracious and so loving to give me this time when I go groceries. But most of the time, it's with my older daughter. So, it's not really me time. But there are... I'd say once or twice during the month, I do go like shopping by myself, um, you know, stuff like that. Most of the time it's thrift shopping because that's what I love to do by myself. I take my time, don't have to worry about someone being bored or having to go to the bathroom or they're thirsty, something. It's just fun going by yourself. 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's a working mommy question. So question number one for that, what is your job? So my job um, is, I work at my daughter's school and I'll put the link up there so you can go watch that and I'll, I, like, I explain it all in that video. I just don't wanna go too much into it. It's already long already. So if you're interested in knowing what I do, then go check out that video. Okay, question number two, did you go to school for this career? No, but I can say that I am following in my mother's footsteps. That is something I said I would never do, but I did it, and I'm kind of glad I did. I see her point on why she did that, so thanks, Mom. Um, question number three, how many hours do you work a week? Okay, so I work four hours every day, four times five, 20 hours. I really work three and a half hours and have a half hour lunch, so I don't know how many hours that maybe less. But they um, they only pay me for three and a half, but I'm gone for four hours. <laughs> 20 hours. <laughs> Question number four. What made you decide to choose this career? Okay, so um, when we first moved here, um, we moved to a new state, and I did tell my husband that I would get a part-time job because where we were living before, I didn't need to have a part-time job. But here I did. So I was praying about it and praying about it. I wanted something to do while my kids were in school and something that was part-time. So I think it was at the end of summer, right when the kids were going back to school, I was looking at my kids' lunch schedule on their school website. They had a position open that was sounded pretty interesting and it was asking like all the questions, you know, are you looking for, you know, all the questions I had in my head and I was like, yes, yes, yes. So I went and they hired me on the spot and it was actually for the school that my daughter goes to. So it was perfect. I see her every day. Um, and you know, the pace not, I mean, it's good. It's okay. Um, it's only, the school's only a minute and a half away. So it's been a huge blessing. Like today I'm off because no one's in school, it's in service. And I'm off when they have breaks, I'm off in the summer. So that's why I picked this type of career. It's something I never thought I would do, so but it's been such a blessing. Question number five, has your job changed since having children? Um, yes, because when I first started working, I was a secretary and then I moved to executive secretary and that's when I had my second daughter. Um, and then I just, I was so torn. I was eight hours away from her every day and then it would take me about an hour, half an hour in the morning, half an hour at night for travel. So that was like nine hours. Um, nine to nine and a half hours a day. So my heartstrings were pulled. Um, it was very hard. I just wanted to stay home and be with my baby. And finally, after three years, two to three years, I think she was, I was able to stay home. But it was very hard and difficult. But the sacrifice that I made for that was, it was worth it. And then I had stayed home for a while. And then I had kind of gone back when she was in school. Um, so around first or second grade, I went back to work, but it was kind of just here and there. So, um, and I actually stopped working in, I want to say 2013, because I got sick, very, very, very sick with my third daughter. And I'm actually doing a video on my sicknesses that I get. And um, so I've been, had been home since 2013 to 2015, um, but then I had to go back to work. So yeah, it's changing. So question number six, what is the one thing you love about being a working mom? The one thing that I love is that it's close to home and the absolutely best thing about it is that I can see my daughter every single day. I love the people that I work with. They're so very friendly and nice and we laugh hard at lunch, it's so funny. And um, so it's just, the morale is great, which I'm not used to. Um, so that's been a blessing. I think that's more than one thing. <laughs> Question number seven, what is the one thing you hate about being a working mom? Just being away from, you know, my family during the day and I get tired at night. So I think just the thing that I hate is just going to work. Just, you know, being there, but, but you know, seeing my daughter every day and being there for her because it's a new school and, you know, at least she can feel like she knows somebody. She's made a lot of friends since then, but um, it, that has just been a blessing. So I think that's that's the only thing I hate about it, that I do have to go to work. But other than that, I love it. Okay, you guys, that's it for these questions. Thank you, Stephanie, for inviting me to do this um, 
mommy tag. It was really fun. Hopefully you guys got to know me a little better and I can't wait to get to know everyone else who's doing this collab. And so I look forward to seeing those. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.